Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you for asking, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, it's nice to meet you. This is the first time on the show. You're in New York as we speak. Yes. Uh, it is Tuesday right now, and you are in a, the middle of a huge blizzard. It's like, <laughs> what, what did you get, 30 inches today? We had about 30 inches. It's actually, it's so intense in my backyard right now. And it's like still snowing, kind of. It stopped for a little while, now it's starting again. It's like a whole situation. Yeah, that's my backyard. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and so you were able to somehow get out and go to your, your studio and then come back again? How are you able to get around? Yes. Well, it's, I planned for every contingency today because I definitely thought that I might have to shoot the show in the backyard as we did through much of the pandemic but actually I got plowed. So I was really just waiting to see if I was gonna get plowed out or not, and I did. Wow. <laughs> so we have a show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm so glad. You know. So your family, I understand you're, you've been putting your family to work there. I have, we definitely, it was like a full family effort at the beginning of the pandemic when we were really totally making the show in the backyard. I have three kids, I got a 10 year old, a 12 year old and a 14 year old. And like my 10 year old would hold up the the teleprompter, which was really just an iPad with words on it. And my daughter held up this like golden piece of foil to cast light on my face. They <laughs> became, they were very bored of it though. They figured out that people like actually get paid to do that. And they were like, I don't, you can't make us do this. <laughs> Oh, well, they seem like smart kids. And, They're and, very smart. Well, no, they must be smart because I heard you taught them how to play poker during the quarantine. You did. They're very, very into poker. I heard you were into poker. We're all like, now we're like a poker family. Yes. And it's super high stakes poker around here. I very would, serious. I would, if I had kids, that's why I'd have kids so that I had people to play <laughs> poker with all the time. I would definitely sure. teach my kids to play poker. I'm obsessed with it. And w when you say high stakes, what are you playing for? We play for, we play for goal. We don't play for money, we play for goals. So the kids will play to like get out of doing the dishes. And my husband, his big goal, every time he plays, his big prize is that he really wants us all to watch The Godfather with him. <laughs> Nobody, we do not want to do that at all. None of us, we, the kids really, they know that it's like three hours long. Right. That it's slow moving. Yeah. So we play really hard when that's his goal. Wow. <laughs> that's his goal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you got, and th this is uh, adorable. You got it. Uh, there's just nothing better than a kitten, and you got a kitten. You know, we did. We got, we already had a cat, and we got, look at, oh. oh. We, got a, we got a quarantine kitten, and it has been a great ad for us. She really gives us a lot to think about. She's like missing a tail. She has just this little, like, weird <laughs> nub at the back. She's really cute. She's great. Are you sure it's supposed to be a tail? <laughs> it's, oh. Interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Full Frontal. It started in 2016. Okay. It's mostly about politics. Um, yeah. So now, how has it been since we have a new president? Oh my God, it's like a whole, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> I love it. Like, <laughs> I love doing the show, but this has been a really, it's, it's like we've never made, we've never even attempted to make the show without the specter of Donald Trump in our lives in some way. And so it feels like such an opportunity to, I almost feel like, even though I've been doing the show for five years, I almost feel like a little, just like a little fledgling up in a tree, just like, just <laughs> testing out my, my delicate little wings. Like, I feel like I can start to live. I feel like we can start to do insane segments and like actually have fun again, it's great. Well, that's, uh, that's fantastic. It's, a, it's like a whole new yeah. chapter, obviously, yes. for, for a lot of us. Um, and yes. anybody special you'd like to interview from the new administration? I was, my husband and I have this funny idea that we would interview, like that I would set up my husband with Doug Emhoff, the new second husband. Mm -hmm. and it would just be like two second husbands interviewing each other. <laughs> I think it would be so great. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Actually, we should just like, Put the idea in his ear. Well, this moment, Doug. Yep. Say yes. It'll be fun. I we, promise. We just did. We'll make sure that uh, this gets okay. to him. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. So your inauguration night episode uh, had a fun opening where celebrities crowd surfed you. Yes. Yeah. It was the only way to really. Uh, it was the only way to like, meet people and 
touch people, to have them touch and hold a cardboard right. version of me. Right. It was bittersweet. I loved it. Well, since you couldn't be here in person, we wanted to show you around. So <gasps> here's what we did. We, uh, we brought you all kinds of different places. There you are. What? You're in our control room, which you would have been. There you are arriving the backstage to the entrance. And you're in the dressing room, so happy. Lots of, yeah. Look at it. I'm having so much fun there. there you're on the lot. Oh, yeah, you're having a blast. That's great. I am. Yeah. There you are at craft snacks. service, having some snacks. Thank All right. Thank so you. nice meeting you, Samantha. It's called Full Frontal with Samantha B. It airs Wednesday yeah. nights at 10.30 on TBS. We'll be back.